made a commitment, by the way. 400. It's a man. It's a man. A man of his Even word. John's in a bad seat right hand. now, unless he has a good hand. Fights a poker one up. Um, I hadn't noticed yeah, Sean's kind of locked up the W. Yeah. Well, that's okay, I guess. Oh. You don't believe it. Bad fold, bad fold, bad fold. Don't believe it. Well, I mean, not really, but yeah. what are you going to do about it? Oh, Chris got that low. Chris got that low. Look at that. 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 Chris's uh, three bet raise. Jesus. Look. That's it. Eli makes the call. We got two guys going to a flop. A little bit. Yeah, Jeremy, do There's my job for me. Dewey again. I don't know if he won in every hand. Can you do a spades? Even has a backdoor flush. Ooh-wee! The Eli Chris rivalry is almost as good as the Nick Chris rivalry, in my opinion. Oh shit, no, no, 22, 22, 22, sorry, sorry. Nope, nope, call no, four, no, man. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Call four, man. Fuck you, fuck you. I was like, wow, Chris is getting, I was like, Chris is getting aggressive on this flop. Call four, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real 10,000 two ball. It was a little bit over, over, over bad. It is no limit. Oh, yeah, for a second, yeah. I thought he says 22,000. That's what I heard. Like, when he puts the, such an angle. Oh, I guess he's gonna have to put it in anyway. This is pretty strong with a check raise with bottom pair. Luda has a gut shot. He does have a club in his hand. No. Are, you, sure. are you really thinking I'm serious? No. Like, do we really have to discuss it on a serious level? <laughs> this bro. is a tough spot. I think they should bro. give Luda bro. Bro, come on, some you quiet. No, he's not angling. You know he was angling, bro. You know it. You know what he had. What are you doing? This is the Tuesday game. You know he was angling. You know he was That was my favorite when Kyle was like, Brick on the turn. <laughs> I just realized. Is Eli going to shut it down or is he going to continue piling in money? He has about pot behind. No, there's basketball going on this street. Oh, it's basketball, the commercial? It was a big shot. Looks like a blocker bet. 5,500. About a quarter of the pot. Can Luda shove here? Just going to call. He has a read. This pot is massive. Bottom pair against no pair. Brick City on the run out. First man to shove wins. You're insane, you're a bad fan. I was, I was gonna say. Here's the show. Yeah, I was a fan through the 70s and 80s. Right? Every now and then, Luda does something that's world class. His default is to punt. Every now and then, he does something beautiful. This hand being an example. He picked up on something on the flop when he got check raised. That's step one, is knowing something's up with your opponent. Knowing something is fishy. Step two, the much harder step, is executing, following through, calling the big check raise, calling the turn bet, and shipping the river when he checks to you. This is why Luda is one of the most fascinating players on our show. Just a punter in general, but capable of playing poker as well as anyone time to time and look at Eli he doesn't want to let go of bottom pair Luda's problem is that a lot of draws miss why do I think I'm so good here this would be an incredible call I would have preferred to shove on the turn by Luda I thought that's what we were going to see I need a minute. I'm sorry. The problem with waiting until the river is that 
Clubs could have missed. King 10 could have missed. 9 10 could have missed. On a less coordinated flop, I like Luda's exact line, but either way, I love the execution. The read and then going with it. And he's not giving anything away. Call. Amazing call. Call of the night of the week. Wow. That's a 63K wow. pot. Bottom pair against King High. Wow. What the fuck just, did just happen? Exactly. What did five. just happen? Oh my God. Eight, 10, 12. Two men 14, played above the rim. 15. Eight, Luda can't believe it. His read was spot on. Wow, you need to put it in fast too, because I was like ripping a band-aid off. <laughs> it was like, not easy to do, I bet. Oh my god. It's like pulling a tooth. Gotta make it quick. Wow. Two, four, six, eight, ten, fourteen. Played it so well and somehow 15. got outplayed. Nice call, Eli. Thank you. Four. Four. 16-4. Thanks, Chris. You got me again. Really? Look at this guy. Just says, nice hand, Eli. You got me again. You know, I hate to say this to you. That was a really good bet. I know. I know you know. Great bet. That was incredible. Great play. Better play. Above the rim, above the rim. 63K pot. Bottom pair against King High. Chinese kids got heart. I'll tell you that. Wow. Yikes! I oh. love Luda's play there. Ooh. Not an easy call. Why are you kidding me? I can't believe you called that fast. Read the check year, raise oh. perfectly. Here comes uh, the CBS bag. You. you would have just mucked that. Mucked that shit. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. You see me call with three. And he followed through. You gotta tip yeah, your cap no to Eli, who right. somehow even played the hand better. Mike X is smart to stay away from the Max Payne Monday crew. Yeah, Horolibus. Guys just been locked in the last couple of Mondays. Oh yeah, that's too much to change. I was gonna say that's a pretty big. This pot is getting big. King nine suited against eight seven suited. This time Luda's in position where he's more comfortable. Check. Flops an open ender. Jeremy's got a nice bluff catch and he's looking at his buddy Luda. Like, you want to try me, man? Try me. I got the middle pair. I don't want to put a bunch of chips in, but I'm not scared to either. Here's the call. Luda needs running hearts or a jack or a six or some other running comments. There's the jack. That's for sure. Check. Jeremy has third pair. Luda's got a straight. 24K in the middle. Unlucky when your opponent makes it so much before the flop with eight high and has a straight on the turn. At least there's some light behind Jeremy's cards here. Not a lot. 9% light. He needs a queen on the river. Luda's going to bet 15K, 16, 17. What's he going to bet? I played one time. I think the only regulars were me and Nick. And probably 15% of the time. That's 19.9. He's hoping Jeremy's hand's stronger than third pair plus gut shot. He's hoping Jeremy has 
two pair set something with a queen in it that's never folding obviously he's a little bit concerned that Jeremy might have king queen what's Jeremy thinking of doing the hero show he does have a king uh oh I don't like the way he's looking around the room I fear he's going to say all no he just calls this pot is gigantic. 64K. They got about 51 effective behind. A nine would be disaster. River's a jack. The benefit of being in position, Jeremy didn't even hesitate before checking. You're not worried about a boat here. And he's got the brand now. It's called the anti game. Oh my god. We might be here a while. Oh my god. Luda has shipped it with the straight. Oh my god. This is so gross. Why do I have to be in this spot? This is. And every draw miss, and I have a pair. It's like a bluff catcher. Not every draw miss. That's not true. Queen Jack made wow. trips. 7 8 made a straight. Get me covered. Jack 8 made trips. Spades did miss. Wow. Ace Queen missed. Looks like Jeremy's going to hero. It just feels like it. This is a massive bet. But it's also less than pot. Again, getting a great price. Or a a reasonable wow, price. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, yeah. short? Yeah. Oh, my God. Better than two to one. That king nine needs to be best. So Less sick, than dude. one in three times. That bet. These two battle every Tuesday. This is a very warranted tank. How much did he have? 51,100. Wow. Oh my god. I'm gonna throw up in this hand. Luda looks the same as he did when he was bluffing against Eli. If you're looking for physical tells, there aren't any. Oh my God. He's very capable of not having it here. Probably not as capable as Jeremy no. thinks. I really don't know. But definitely capable. Oh, Jeremy man. gonna put the Fuck chips me. in. It's gonna be the worst birthday ever if he does. I don't know. Really like the table being quiet for Jeremy right now. No one's saying a word. Sorry guys. And that is correct. You got, you got 30 minutes. Yeah. This is no Jeremy's earned this respect. He's provided all the action. He's made some sick plays tonight. Some great bluffs. Luda made a great bluff. They got called, and he might just win the pot of the night with a straight against third. Oh, Chris, pair. all these bluffs, and you might get a fucking huge one here. Uh oh. Seems like he's going to put those chips in, doesn't it? The 
This would be a hundred and sixty six K pot. Gets there. On a Tuesday night in a five five game. God, I'm so torn right now. I feel like he has it, but so much money in the pot too. He's gonna call, isn't he? Does. There's the bad news. Jeremy's still going to have $4,695 left after this, but he's going to be stuck well over 100 k on his birthday. And this is the point in the poker game where it's no longer funny. No one's going to needle Jeremy. Look. Good kings or queens. It's just gotten a little bit too real. I'm telling you. He'll he, joke he, about this next week, maybe a of couple weeks from now, sure. Uh, and uh, but not right I, now. I mean, I could be I totally it. wrong, but yeah, it could no, be I like fives or threes or yeah, twos yeah. or like yeah. who knows? Like yeah. I can't imagine it was a big pair. I think he would have been in earlier. Yeah, but I don't know. I Just like that, Luda's unstuck. <laughs> 